Good morning, everybody. I uh, hope everybody's doing well this morning. I, Me and Eddie and James, we had a very long conference call last night. and We came to the conclusion that we're going to close the church for another two weeks. It'll be starting this Sunday and the following Sunday. And it was not a decision that was came too lightly. We, uh, I think we've all prayed on it and we've, this is what we felt was right for our church at this time. There's this virus isn't going anywhere. It's getting worse in our county. And we just want to take the precaution and we want to make everybody safe. We don't want anybody to feel like they don't have, they can't come to church because they're afraid to, that it's going to get them there, you know. We want you to feel safe, and we're going to continue to do live stream on Sundays and throughout the week. James or myself or Eddie will do something on Sunday. Uh, we'll let you know when we get ready to do that and when it's going to go on live on Facebook. And I'm sure it'll get lo loaded to YouTube as well. But I just wanted to get on and just kind of talk a little bit about what what the Lord's put on my heart and I want to share a verse out of Joshua 1 chapter 1 verses verse 9 and it says have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go you know I I think everybody knows I work for the railroad and I have seen this verse this scripture I have seen this written on the inside of a locomotive and I see it more often than not. I've seen it twice in the last week. And that's a strong verse and it speaks to me and it, it tells me that no matter where we're at, we don't have to be together in that church to know that we have a strong bond together as, as, a, as a church group and that, and that we can still love, the God, love our God and we can love each other where, where we're at. We don't have to be together. And... I just want everybody to know that we, we miss all of you guys and we miss not seeing you at church and it is hard to not be in that church and not be congregating with people and it's hard. It's very hard, but we're going to do this for two more weeks and hopefully we can get to a point where we can come back and gather in that church because that's where the real power is, is fellowship together and praying together and just fellowship and loving each other and that's where the power is at and but we can still do that because we want you to reach out to us. If you have something you, you have going on that you need prayer for, reach out to the office phone. That number is 505-907-3500. If you need anything, you can call that church number. If you have questions about what's going on, call that number. The Charmerie will answer any question you have. Call James, call Eddie, call myself. We will we will help you get through whatever you need. If you got prayer requests, we'll get them taken care of. But in the meantime, we're going to do live stream on Sundays and throughout the week if we can. And we'll just go on from there. And hopefully, like I said, in two weeks, we'll be back together up there just praising God with each other. But we hope you're all safe. If there's something you need, if you need if you need us to go pick up your grocery order at Walmart, call us. We'll go help. We'll do what we can for you. If you need anything, like I said, just call call the call the office, call whoever you got a number for, just call them, please. I hope everybody is safe. If if uh we do have some people that are sick in our church, and I want you to I want you to take this time to to pray for them people and just we just need to lift them up in prayer and lift them to God for healing and claim that healing upon our our church family and we claim that now and so before we get off of here I would like to pray with everybody and and then we'll go on and I'll let you get about your day there Father God we come to you and we just thank you and praise you for this beautiful day you've put in front of us Father and we we know we can't go fellowship in that church for a few weeks, Father, and that we're okay with that, Father. We're just going to persevere through it, and we're going to we're going to get to where we need to be. And Father, we just anybody that's ailing out there, Father, whether whether they're part of our church or not, if you're watching this, and 
and you're able, we we just lift you up for prayer for healing. Father God, we just ask you to just heal these people and just take this virus and and get it out of our lives, Father. We it's darkness, and we don't want to be part of any of that darkness, Father God. We just claim that we claim healing on our land, and Father, we just we lift up our government, our the doctors, and we just lift them up to you that that they would make the right decisions and that the doctors would find a cure for this and just would get get rid of it. And Father, we just ask you to watch over everybody as they go on about their lives and just keep them protected. Father, just put a hedge of protection around them and keep them safe as they go on, Father God. And we claim all these things in your name. Amen. Well, everybody, we hope to see you in a couple of weeks and... Like I said, if you need anything, you just call, and we will do what we can to help you. Y'all have a good day. Goodbye.